Shooting it raw? Yes. Shooting it raw. Okay, now in this photograph... It's me! Do you want to describe what we're looking at? Okay, so it's me on Halloween around a year or two ago. A year ago. A year ago. No. Yeah, a year ago. And um, we had bought this spray paint hair dye stuff that's not permanent, but... And it's... The only colors I got were blue and pink. And honestly, it's it's the morning and I was about to go to school. So my hair was a mess, but we still just did it like that and mm -hmm. just sprayed it on and went to school. Mm -hmm. And um, I'm looking pretty happy in this photo. I have like a pink sweater with like stars on it and a little towel on so it doesn't get on my clothes. And I look pretty happy. Mm -hmm. And this is in our house. So yes. Yeah. And if you look outside, it's like either really, really sunny or really, really foggy or yeah, really, could really be rainy. You can't really tell. Yeah, I can't really tell. It's kind of foggy out, out the window. You can tell that it's bright, I guess. Yeah, no, it's, it's, in, our, it's in our living room slash dining room. Yeah. You're looking at, at, I don't know if it was me or if it was your mummy who was making the photograph. Mother. It was your mom? Okay. okay. And yeah, like sprayed the top of your head is this uh, blue. funny blue color and the bottom of your head is this pink color. Pink or fuchsia? More like pink. Okay. But actually to this photo, the, the, it's just another photo of me. But to me, like a year ago, there were a lot of influences I had in my brain. Like literally, I didn't really like blue and pink that much. Right. I just thought that would make me cool. And I was kind of stuck in that thing, and that didn't make me very happy. So ah. I, I kind of got out of it, and now I'm who I want to be, and I don't just pretend to be. At the mind. moment. Yeah. But that may change next week. <laughs> yeah. Or I can, I, I'll pretend to be a different person. Of course. <laughs> of course. This was before Halloween. Mm -hmm. You're the looking at the camera. Halloween. Okay. This was during the pandemic, so were you going to school? Yeah, I was going to school, but I run on masks on. Ah. And there was actually this really fun Halloween competition, and my friend won, because mm -hmm. she was a minion. Ah. And they were like houses at my old school, because this is my school now. So, actually, the last time that we talked on here, I was at a different school, so that changed. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, and I have new friends and stuff, so... You have friends? <gasps> Over my new. dead body! <laughs> yeah, so... This photo is just kind of a reflection of me in the past and kind of like think about how I've changed. Uh -huh. So how is that in terms of the time between now and back then? You know, like how do you, can you talk about how you've changed in a way that, like, you know, like the difference between, for example, a six-year-old you and a 10-year-old you is pretty big. Whereas the difference between a 45-year-old me and a uh, 61-year-old me is very small. I'm 61, yeah? Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, yeah, so can you intelligibly, intelligently talk about about how much you've changed? Or is it more like, eh, who cares? Um, I think that, so at around this age, I, I read Harry Potter when I was six. Mm -hmm. And I watched the movie and I wasn't scared at all. Mm -hmm. This is just an example. And now I watch the movie and I'm like, I didn't find this creepy when I was six. <laughs> wow. <laughs> so it's not as big as a difference because I was like a year ago. But I still feel like it's, it's about to be Halloween really soon. Right. And I didn't really, I think I sort of embraced myself in the last year. Ah, and it was before you, you rejected yourself. Not, oh God. Um, <laughs> I was just like, <laughs> are you bleeding? Yes. You are? Congratulations. Yeah. Um, so I think that I was kind of, at that point, um, it was cool to have YouTube and I was watching YouTube and that actually made me feel really awful, but I kind of rejected that. Okay. I was, I was so affected. Like my favorite color changed because of what people thought. Yeah. And I didn't, I wasn't really happy but I just rejected all those feelings kind of right. just went along with the flow and at around like actually like two months after this photo was taken I ditched YouTube I ditched all that yeah caring ditched about it. what other people thought yeah I was just like so I feel like in that process between 
then and now, I really kind of opened up to what I actually actually like. Okay. Not what other people think I like. What, okay. What I care about other people think. So how do we... How do we... Are you bleeding badly? What's going on? I'm fine. You sure? Oh, wait a second. Where'd that come from? Okay, I'll, I'll hit pause. Hold on. Okay, we're back. Yeah. <clears throat> After that little flesh wound, it was but a flesh wound. Okay, well, okay, so we're talking it about... It is but a flesh wound. Yes, it is. Yes, <laughs> you're right. Um, already you're, you're noticing something that, you know, you've changed in a sense, yeah. right? And that you're aware of from one time to the next, your personality is changing and you're sort of ditching some things, keeping other ones. But what if that is something that happens all the time throughout your life and is a normal thing that happens to everybody all the time anyways? Even to your parents, even to your teachers, mm. everyone. I'm just saying it was just like, it was a bit of a... I was just trapped in a cycle and I got out of the cycle. The cycle being YouTube. The cycle being caring about what others thought of me. Ah. Changing myself for others. Ah. And I am actually, I wasn't really, every night I came back and I was just like, even now I, I come back from school and I'm like, what have I become? Where's my old self? Yeah, I have to. Yeah. But that, kill those people. Yeah, but that... What? Ha- that You're going to kill some people? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I am. <laughs> what are you doing? My friend Esme wants to be a murderer. Well, that's <laughs> Just crazy. kidding. Listen, you can't out her um, in the podcast. Everybody will know that she wants to go into murder. <laughs> murder. Or was it murder? Okay, I think we can move on to the next one. Okay. <laughs> So, is life really a gift? Really? Can you make every second count? That's the whole point of the podcast. So, if you like what you've seen and you're inspired, because that really is my mission, then please give it a like, subscribe, and share. Shooting it raw? Yes. Shooting it raw.